Hey, I'm Andy Pereira, this was Line 6, and in this AMS video we're going to be talking about the new Amplify Amplifier from Line 6. Amplify is going to give us three great features of a great new powerful stereo guitar amplifier. It's also going to give us the ability to Bluetooth stream from any Bluetooth audio device. And if you're using an iOS 7 device, you can actually edit all of the parameters from the amp right off of your iOS device. So what we're going to see, just looking at the top of the amp, it's just a really traditional looking guitar amp with all the same features you would expect to see from a traditional guitar amp, although we are uh, giving you the ability to increase or decrease right off of here. If you go over here, you'll see these four presets that you can change right off of the face of the amp, or you can connect one of our FBV controllers to control that. Just give you a quick run through from what we got, just right off of the face of the amp, we got kind of a dirty crunch. Get over here kind of a cool lead sound with some reverb. Go over here, I'm gonna get some nice cleans. And then the last one's gonna just give you some cool spacey effects. So the second great thing about this is this is going to do Bluetooth audio streaming from any Bluetooth audio device. So for example, here I can actually open up my iOS 7 device or, or any other Bluetooth streaming device and anything that I have in my playlist will actually go right through the amp. And taking a look down here at the amp, I'm going to have my main low end speaker here. It'll be an 8 inch or a 12 inch depending on which unit you have. But then we also have these two speakers on each side to help create a great stereo imaging. And the effects will also be stereo as well if they're post amplifier. Now one of the really cool things that you're going to see in this product is if you're using an iOS device, I can actually edit any of the sounds on my amp right from my iOS device so that's iOS 7 compatible. So just taking a look at this, what's going to happen when I open it up is it will see everything that I'm that I have on my iOS device and then I can play any of these songs right off of that and it's going to Bluetooth stream right to my amp. But what's really cool is when I select a song and what's going to happen is it's going to show a list. We've got over 6,500 tones already on our online database. So it's going to give you recommendations for that. So you can pick any of these that you want or you can pick something and favorite it just by holding this little icon here. And let's say you like it, but you want to change it. So for example, let's say I want to change that gain on that amp a little bit. All I do is I go over here on the upper right and I hit edit. And now I can control all of the parameters of the Amplify just like this. So for example, if I want to bring that gain back just a little bit, and it's just real time control, real easy to do. I can go in and I can change my amp. For example, the, this is all coming from the Pod Farm amp model selection. So I'm going to have 72 different amps available to me. So these are all the amps that are available just in the American section. And if I go over here under type, I can select between clean, American, British, and high gain. If I want to do some effects routing, let's say I want to add some delay on, I go over to delay. I'm going to turn it on first. Now, I can select the type of delay and I can pick from any one of these delays that's here. So I'll just pick digital delay, select that. And now I've got my tap tempo and all of my parameters here. So for example, if I know my tempo and I just want to tap it in, I can do that. And then I can also change my, whether I want note values. For example, here I can change and you'll notice all these note values moving here. And then I can also control my parameters here. Or if I know that I want a specific millisecond, I can go in and change that. So if that's a lot of feedback, I can just drop that down for a single slap back. So once I have the tone that I really want to have, all I have to do is go over here and select Save Info. And then I can go in, I can name all of it, or I can just autofill the data from this metadata here. When I hit that, it's going to already just grab everything that, that's in the metadata and then I can save it for use later and favorite it for myself if I want, or if I want to publish it and everybody else who's on our server wants to play it, I can just hit this publish button over here. So we have a, a really great crowdsourcing ability that's only going to get better as more people write tones and use them. We're going to have a really amazing selection beyond just the 6500 that we already have. Make sure you check out AmericanMusical.com and see more information on the Amplify unit.